Hello children. Today we are going to start the third chapter of computer syllabus that is more on MS Excel. In last class we have studied about the formulas how we are using in MS Excel. But in today's class we will see some more advanced feature in MS Excel. If uh, the video appear blurs then you have to change the quality of the video by going in the settings fine then you will be seeing whole video clearly okay if the video appear blur then please change the quality of the video by going in the settings option a uh, settings icon on the video okay so let us start quickly topics that we will be covering in today's class are sorting and filtering data fine now one by one we will see uh, sorting and filtering data first we are going to see about sorting now let us understand what is meant by sorting sorting means rearranging the existing data according to our new requirements is called sorting suppose a given set of data is there and you want to sort that data in a specified order okay that rearrangement is known as sorting you must have learned about ascending order descending order right that ascending order and descending order is nothing but certain rearrangement of the data okay and it is a kind of sorting fine now sorting is a very important feature in ms excel with this feature you can sort your data in whichever uh, way you want in whichever order you want within few seconds okay now sorting means arranging the data in a specified order okay now the data may be textual numerical or alphanumeric textual it can contain text numerical it can contain new uh, numbers and alphanumeric means it is a combination of textual and numerical fine uh, your data can be either of this three it can be textual numerical or alphanumeric you can sort any type of data based on your requirements so let us now see practically how to use the sorting feature in ms excel we will see how to use the sorted feature in ms excel fine so this is our data okay the this table i have created already in ms excel fine so first you have to open the ms excel and then you have to create a table you have to enter the data here fine this is the same table uh, from the textbook you will see in on page number 30 fine in your textbook on page number 30 the first box or uh, there is one table in that so that is the same table i have created here in ms excel sheet fine your first step is to enter the data on the worksheet fine you have to just first, uh, first enter the data in the ms excel then what you have to do you have to select or uh, the complete data fine using your left click continuously and your mouse pointer you have to just select the whole data fine here whatever data is there first name second name registration number birth place branch and salary this is the data of the salary of sales executives of xyz company fine this is the information about the salary of the executives fine now your first step is to select all the data okay using your left click continuously and your mouse pointer then you have to enter the home tab fine uh, on this ribbon you have to enter the home tab okay by default when you open the ms excel sheet you will be in home tab only okay fine now in this home tab uh, there is one section of editing okay 
editing section is there in that you will find a option of sort and filter okay you will find one option of sort and filter so click on that after you click on that sort and filter option you will be seeing a drop down list below that okay from this list you have to select the custom sort fine so just click on custom sort and when you click on custom sort a dialog box appears on the screen fine now suppose i want to sort the data according to the first name okay now from the uh, from this sort by option here against the sort by option there there is an arrow downwards arrow click on that downwards arrow and from there you have to select the first name okay suppose for example we will sort the data by first name okay and sort on cell values only okay, do not make any changes in this and order based on your order either you want uh, the first names in uh, descending order or in ascending order fine from a to z you want to sort or from z to a you want to sort okay depending on that you can select uh, the your uh, your reference okay fine depending on your requirements you can select from this list a to z or z to a and we are sorting on first name okay we are sorting by first name so here i am keeping it as a to z only i want to sort the first names of this data uh, in ascending order that is from a to z okay after doing all these changes in this dialog box you have to click on okay option and then you will see that your data is sorted from a to z within fraction of seconds fine so it is very easy to sort in ms excel uh, sheet then to do it by manually okay by manually if you do it will be very time consuming fine so it is very easy to sort the data in ms excel sheet fine so in this way you can sort the data by using uh, the sort and filter feature okay now suppose you have to sort the data on the last uh, on the second name okay then again from the home tab go to editing section and then choose the sort and filter option and then from the drop down list choose the custom sort again then here in place of first name you have to select the second name fine suppose you are sorting the data on the second name fine so uh, now we will select from z to a okay i uh, then after you select this three values in this dialog box then you have to click the okay option and then you will see that your data is sorted from uh, sorted by second name okay second name all the second names of the uh, executives are sorted from z to a in descending order and depending on the second name all the remaining data are sorted fine in this way you can sort the data in whichever uh, in whichever requirement you need to sort the data fine according to your requirement you can sort your uh, required data fine so again uh, we will see how to sort the data based on the salary fine so again you have to move inside the home tab and from the home tab uh, choose sort and filter option after choosing sort and filter option a drop down list appears and from that drop down list choose custom sort and a dialog box pops up okay so in uh, in the sort by option click on the downwards arrow and from this list select salary okay and from salary salary is now numerical value okay it is not the textual value so here order will change fine now salary either you want your salary of the executives in 
a descending order largest salary should be first then the smallest then the smallest either you want in that way or you want in uh, the ascending order so depending on your requirement you can choose the uh, you can choose the option from this list fine either you want uh, your salary to be sorted in uh, smallest to largest or from largest to smallest okay and choosing it as largest to smallest then after uh, choosing this options then you have to click on ok button after clicking on ok button you will see that your salary is sorted from largest to smallest fine now depending on the salary all the other data is sorted fine so sorting is nothing but rearrangement of the existing data in a specified order fine whichever order you want you can sort the data in ms excel sheet by using the sorting option sorting feature okay and it will be done within fraction of seconds okay so now we are moving towards the uh, second topic of this chapter that is filtering data okay now the filter feature helps us to hide that part of the information entered in the worksheet that we do not want to see okay now the uh, part that we don't want to see that will be hidden and the part that we actually want to see according to our requirements only that will be displayed fine now a filtered range comes with only row, those rows and columns that fulfill the conditions or criteria we specify means those rows and columns which fulfill the conditions or criteria uh, uh, which we have specified only that rows and columns uh, will be displayed okay now there are two commands in ms excel that we use to filter the ranges first is auto filter uh, for simple criteria and second is advanced filter for complex criteria but in this chapter we will only learn about how to use the auto filter fine so moving on now filtering is different from sorting fine sorting means rearrangement of the data according to our requirements but filtering means it hides only those rows and columns that we don't want to display means it displays the rows and columns that fulfills one uh, that fulfills our conditions or criteria fine now the usefulness of this feature is that we can edit format or print only certain range that is chosen uh, by filtering without rearranging of the data or moving it okay fine now moving on now we are going to see how to use the filtering feature in ms excel for that you have to create the data sheet as you are seeing on screen this is the same data i have entered in ms excel uh, that you will be seeing on page number 34 of your textbook okay the first table it is the same table that i have created in ms excel and uh, now we will see how to use the filtering feature okay after making this table in ms excel fine you have to enter the home tab and inside the home tab you have to uh, move towards the editing section okay inside the editing section you will find one option of sort and filter click on sort and filter and a drop down list appears from this drop down list you have to select filter option okay just click on filter option and when you click on that you will be seeing that the at, uh, at the end of each column heading uh, you will find one drop down control okay at the end of each column heading okay only heading i am saying at the end of each column heading you will find one drop down control okay now from that drop down control we will see how to use the filtering feature so we can use any of the uh, drop down any of the column for using the filtering feature suppose i am using this january column okay just click on that drop down uh, 
control which has appeared beside January column. Fine. Click on that and a, uh, and a list appears. Fine. So uh, from this list select which which of the uh, salary in the January month you want it to be seen on your uh, screen. Fine. Suppose I am selecting this 2400 from this list. Okay. Suppose I am selecting this 2400 from this list and I want only those cells, only those uh, rows which has a 2400 salary in the January month. Okay. So for that from this list I am selecting only 2400. Okay. Rest of the uh, salaries are unchecked. Fine. So after selecting only 2400, you have to click on OK option. After clicking on OK option, you will be seeing that in the January month, the uh, rows which has 2400 salary, which has 2400 salary, only those rows has been displayed on that screen. Okay, and rest of the rows are hidden. Fine. So, in this way, you can use the filtering option to display only the uh, specified rows or data which, pass, uh, which fulfill our conditions. Fine, here condition was the uh, in the January month, which of the employees has 2400 salary. So, according to that, only two rows has been displayed. It means only two employees uh, have the 2400 uh, salary in the January month. Fine. So in this way you can use the filtering feature of MS Excel. Thank you so much for listening to me. In today's class we have seen how to use the sorting feature and how to use the auto filter feature in MS Excel. In next class we are going to see custom filtering removing auto filter and also we will see conditional formatting okay i am attaching one worksheet with this video you have to solve that worksheet and send it on my email